I have some advice for the world. That it's where I seen something in what looked like. What was your most embarrassing moment? Probably this interview. Man, I, I promise you, I won't be back on this crack. This is where one man is forced to devour multiple insects at one sitting to be prepared. What's up, everybody? So, I haven't done a story time Saturday in a while, so this is going to be one of them. <sighs> So anyone who knows me, like for real, for real, knows that during my childhood and better part of my teenage years, I grew up living in the projects. I was poor living in the projects. And um, in these particular projects, I was not the only white kid that lived there. I mean, there wasn't many of us, but I mean, I knew at least two other ones other than myself, and uh, they were brother and sister. The The boy's name was Josh. He was about two years older than me. I never knew his sister's name. But uh, me and him, we grew up differently. And um, he was one of those stereotypical wigger white boys. Or, no, that's not right. I, I shouldn't say that. Uh, Let's call him uh, We Grow. You know, he was a, the stereotypical We Grow. Um, you know, the, the kind who would, you know, sag his pants. Uh, rock corn rolls. He even had a grill in his mouth. I'm telling you, he had everything except a damn do-rag. And uh, since I moved out of the projects, I haven't seen him since then. And that was years ago. But uh, one time, it was probably about four or five months ago. I was walking to the gym. I was walking down the street. Somebody's driving past me. They're blowing their horn at me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Because I didn't know what I did for somebody to blow their horn at me. Because I don't know who the hell it could be. But they pull over. They roll their window down. And I was like, oh, I recognize those corn rolls anywhere. It was Josh. And I was like, man, it's been years. I said, what are you doing here? Because I moved out of the city. You know, I moved out of the city. I never thought I'd see him again. And uh, he said, I'm just in town picking up my, my sister from work. He said, you want to go get some lunch? I said, yeah. He didn't tell me where we were going. He said, we can go get some burgers and fries or, and, and, and wings or some shit like that. So I didn't know where he was taking us. But uh, I found out we were going to Hooters. <sighs> Sorry, I had to make some storage on my phone. But yeah, he was taking us to Hooters. At this point in my life, I had never been to Hooters. But I know of a lot of people who have been to Hooters. And they all said that it's just a bunch of sexy waitresses walking around in booty shorts and big ass titties. So, you know, I wasn't going to complain about that. But, um, you know, we get inside, we get to Hooters, we go inside, we find our tables. I'm looking at the menu and I'm telling Josh what I want because he's the one paying for everything. I said, okay, I'll, I'll get the beer, the fries, the, the wings. And, uh, you know, a few minutes later, our waitress walks up. So white girl with blonde hair, black extensions, dirty white sneakers, and mustard all over her t-shirt. She said, my name is Shelby. I'll be your waitress today. She takes our order. And then right before she walks off, she says, you know, sexy people leave tips. I said, Josh, you a bad bitch today. 
because I ain't leaving her nothing. Man, she looks like she gets paid to strip on somebody's back porch, man. So, uh, but I tell you what, man, the food was delicious. Um, you know, I got full, man. I enjoyed my adult beverage, beverage, my adult beverage. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I got full. I said, hey, Josh, you want to go pick up your sister now? He says, yeah. He said, hey, Shelby, you ready to go? I said, hell no. Oh, my God, man. That was the worst experience that I ever had, man. And I swear to God, I'll never go back to Hooters again, man. Man. But, uh. Yeah, I think I might make a uh, new series called uh ratchet restaurants um but yeah uh i hope everyone has a great day